All right, y'all. So come with me as I do my nails. And I really had no guidance, no direction. I didn't know what I was doing. But I wanted to do something like Christmas theme. So to begin, um, as you saw in the first clip, um, I just cleaned my nails, prepped them for the field part. And I did it off camera because that's not what this video was for. So I'm just trying to show you guys like a true moment with me actually just doing my own nails. And actually just taking out through the process of like trying to be creative. But sometimes it's hard and I think that's another reason why I don't offer this to other people because like I get stressed out with the pressure from others when they want something and I'm like a perfectionist so I want to do it right and do it how they want it so um yeah that just confirmed it for me also but um so I did I knew I wanted some red so I decided to do this arch lord I said arch I decided to do the French tip to just try to see how um, this look I had in mind. And I said I wanted to use my spider gel, so I just went in and did that um, for this nail. But for this step right here, whenever I'm doing my like uh, white tip or any type of French tip, I always line it out first because it makes it easier for me to um, make sure that it's at, like just look at it before I fill it in because um, I'm going with the actual polish and filling the rest, but um, I lined it up and then I went in with the red and this is the polish by D&D called Lady in Red and I'm just um, lining out the size just to make sure that it's the size arch that I want it to be and once I'm completing that then I go in with an angle brush um, and when I say angle I mean like the actual brush has an angle to it so it allows me to clean up my nails so you'll see me do that here in this step and I actually just used the remainder of the monomer um I didn't want to waste my monomer because this was actually the last little bit I had in this thing and honestly my work and life schedule just doesn't allow me to meet the nail supply store when I need to during the week so I was like let me use every little drop because honey we gonna use but pretty much we're gonna use it okay so um i'm just cleaning that nail up and then i'm gonna cure it now i cure my nails while i'm doing my nails and i do that because honestly when i don't know or i don't have a sense of direction to what i'm doing i go ahead and cure it because um uh, i don't want to accidentally hit my nail with me moving around and doing something on the other nails and because I don't know what I'm doing, I don't want to mess up the nails. So I'm just going in and curing my nails also throughout the process. So you'll see me several times cure my nails. And that's just because I'm just making sure that um, I don't mess up my nails if I accidentally hit it while I'm trying to do my nails. Or if I'm moving around and get up for a second, I don't want to accidentally mess up my nails in that process. All right, y'all. So honestly, I feel like at this moment is where I messed up. Um, and I'm saying that because whew, red is a color that you have to deal with a lot. Like, it's like a glitter. When you're dealing with glitter in your nails or with makeup, like, it, it's just the hardest to get off. So um, when I covered my nail red, I kind of was hesitant at that moment, honestly that I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that or not. And so when I did it, I just ended up curing it and processing it. And honestly, the initial reason for me doing that was because I wanted to do a sweater nail. Because, you know, Christmas, everybody doing sweater nail. I thought it was cute. I'm like, mm, I haven't really done that, so let me just try that. So when I did it, you'll see in a few, I didn't like how that turned out. All right, so for this step, I decided to do, um, I wanted to do a, a, a mint, reflect a, a peppermint. So I started off with a white French tip, um, and I just used that as the base. And then I was going to outline it with the red lines to form the peppermint. So what you're going to see me do is similar to the previous step, is just really do the outline and fill in for the white tip and then I'm going to go in on top of that to do to mimic a peppermint
what I did decide to do here in this step is um, line up these two colors, which was the white and the red. And I did this because I knew I wanted to try to do my blooming gel with the marble effect. Um, and so I laid down the colors that I wanted to use. And then you'll see me go in with one of my um, brushes. And I'm just going to marble it out to get that look. Um, so that I can just place it on my nail when I apply the blooming gel. So as you see here, the blooming gel I'm putting it on. And one thing I learned about the blooming gel that I saw someone else doing a video is that you want to make sure that you do ripe the sides and the edges because if not, it will, uh, I've seen my nails hump up like lumps and stuff like that. And I'm like, why my nails look so bulky? And they, my actual nail was not bulky, but when you put that blooming on, blooming gel on, if you're not monitoring how much you put on there, it will bulk up. So definitely make sure when you use Blooming Gel, depending on the one you use, especially um, the DND one I have, um, they do do that. So make sure you wipe the edges. And even when you put the polish on top of it, make sure you just wipe it again. Um, because the longer you let it sit before curing, um, it does spread. So definitely make sure you do that in these steps. So I wanted to do this nail too before I put it in the... Um, lamp to re to cure because i was like well if i can knock this out then it'll be easier for me to be done with my nails because i was doing this with the intent that this was going to look right All right, so now we're going in to um, do the spider spider nail, and for this I was going in with my doing this on my pinky. Um, so I, I've used this before, so it's not like a brand new thing for me. So I just got the thinness to it, or however thin I wanted the line to the string to be, and I just started wrapping it around just like a little web and however I wanted to direct it to go I did it and this part was really easy and then whenever I'm done um, I just pull my nail back or away from the uh, spider gel and I just wipe off the sides or the edges and cure it okay so for this step I'm going to be doing the sweater nail so for this I'm going in with like my thin liner um, nail art brush and I'm just tracing the nail out to the pattern that I feel will work best for the sweater so I'm doing that here before I go over with the clear acrylic now I have some red acrylic and maybe that would have made this look better but I thought maybe the clear was I don't know why I just assumed the clear it didn't really matter um, and I don't know now that I'm looking back at it I feel like maybe that could have been the reason why I didn't look right but honestly um, when I did it, it just didn't give it. And I went over the nail twice with the acrylic and it still just didn't, um, it didn't look the way I wanted it to look. And that's why I took it off. So you're gonna see me just do those steps here um, in the next part of the video. Okay, so this is how it looks. Now, granted, it doesn't look that bad, but it just, I wasn't getting what I wanted when I, you know, looked at the nail. And then also along with the other nails, so I went on and wiped it off.
All right, so for this step right here um, is when I start to try to mimic or try to create a peppermint on my finger. Um, I've never done this before, but I wanted to attempt it. It looked sim it looked pretty easy uh, when I saw it on someone's nails, but I didn't see them actually do it, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But it just looked easy. Like I'm a person that learns off of visual. I'm a visual learner, so. I thought I could do it, but honestly, I think maybe I should have looked at it again to see the actual direction they were going. I looked at it one time and just assumed I knew which way to draw my lines. I uh, probably should have had a, like an example right there so I could follow. But I go in and I just try to attempt to do it here on these nails. Um, and you'll see how it looks um, once I complete it. And I, I even cured this twice, which was crazy when... I really wasn't feeling it like that. Doing all of this, I wasn't feeling it. And I should have just took it off then, but I didn't. But y'all gonna see. And right here, y'all, is where I just was checking it out, seeing if I like this look. And the more I kept looking, I was like, no, I don't. So I went and got my drill bit, and I just fouled off the designs because I realized that it just didn't go well. And I've seen some nail artists that will have a sketch out of what they're going to do on their nails. And maybe I should start doing that the more I like to do. I'm like going into being more creative with my nails than a simple polish or a uh, white tip. Um, maybe I should like sketch out my idea or have it set out before I do my nails. So right now I'm just filing out all, all this polish, all of the marble, blooming gel, everything I just did. Um, just to go in and do all my nails like the pinky. And honestly, y'all, I still kind of don't like it now that I look at it. Um, as I'm doing a voiceover here, but for the most part, they're there and I haven't changed them yet. Um, so for this part, I'm going to speed through this because you saw me do this on my pinky and I know y'all don't want to watch that over again. So that's what I'm doing on all these nails, um, tracing out the lines and then I'm going to go in with the polish and fill it in. <laughs> 